Hi, my name is Dane Pell. I'm a principal software engineer at Acquia, and today I'm going to demonstrate the features of Acquia CLI. To get started with Acquia CLI, go to the GitHub homepage. The README on the homepage will guide you through the installation and usage of Acquia CLI, which is distributed as a PHP archive or FAR file. As you can see, Acquia CLI has very few prerequisites and runs on nearly any platform where PHP is available. Either download the latest FAR file from the releases page or use the provided script to install Acquia CLI. The first thing you should do after installing Acquia CLI is to authenticate it with Acquia Cloud. To do so, simply run ACLI auth login and follow the prompts to create and enter an access token. Note that if you already use Acquia products such as BLT, your computer may already be authenticated. Second, Create and upload an SSH key if you haven't already by running ACLI SSH key create upload. Manually creating and uploading an SSH key normally takes several steps and is easy to get wrong, but Acquia CLI does it all for you with one command. Great, now we are fully authenticated to Acquia Cloud and able to run commands against the Cloud API as well as via SSH. Now run ACLI list or ACLI without any arguments to see everything it can do. To get a feel for what Acquia CLI can do, let's imagine that we're developers troubleshooting a problem with our website. We're smart developers and know that a cache clear can fix almost anything, so we want to start by clearing Varnish. Run ACLI API list to get a list of available API commands. There's the one we want. Now let's see how to run it. Use the help option to get help and examples for any command. To clear varnish, we see that we need to provide an environment ID and domain to clear. Acquia CLI supports environment IDs in the form of a UUID as used by Cloud API, or a more user-friendly environment alias in the form of a site name and environment, which will be very familiar to Drush users. All right, so let's add those parameters and run the command to clear varnish. Hmm, looks like ACLI did its job, but Varnish wasn't the problem. Let's take the nuclear approach and clear all the caches using Drush. Ordinarily, this would require setting up Drush aliases for each site ahead of time, but Acquia CLI can run Drush commands on Acquia servers for you without any aliases at all. In fact, you don't have to have Drush installed locally at all. All right, that didn't work either. Time to get our hands dirty. Let's see what's going on by tailing the logs. Note that the CLI automatically detects when I'm in a repository cloned from Acquia Cloud and can link it to that cloud application. Once I've selected the application, environment, and logs detail, Acquia CLI will continuously stream the output of those log files as the servers receive new requests. Now I see what the problem is. Time to fix it. We're going to use a cloud IDE to develop the fix. First, we need to create an IDE to work in by running ACLI IDE create and simply giving the new IDE a name. Note that since I already linked this directory to my cloud application when I ran the log tail command earlier, Acquia CLI already knows to attach the IDE to this application. Once the IDE has been created, I'll copy the link to the IDE into my browser and within seconds I have a working cloud development environment. The Cloud IDE comes initialized with an empty project workspace. Now we need to use Acquia CLI to refresh the project with the code, files, and database from the cloud environment we want to fix. Note that the ACLI refresh command is only available in Cloud IDEs. Now we have an exact copy of the cloud environment inside of our IDE environment, and we can confirm that by checking that the bug still exists in our application inside the IDE. Yep, there it is. Let's fix it. I'll just open up the broken file in the IDE, and you can see that the code editor has already caught and highlighted the syntax error for me. I'll just go ahead and fix that and save the file. Let's go back to our browser and see if that fixed it. Yep, that looks much better. Finally, we'll use git to commit and push the change back to the cloud environment and confirm that the bug has been fixed there as well. So there you have it, getting started with Acquia CLI and using it to maintain your Acquia applications all in under five minutes. Try it out for yourself and let us know what you think over on GitHub.